My name is Ron Beaudry and uh, I work for the Parks Department in the village of Orland Park. We are currently located at what is called the Old Village Hall on Beacon Avenue. We're here with uh, fishing teams from Andrew and Sandberg and we're in the process of building what we call fish cribs for Lake Sedgwick in Orland Park. This, the fishing teams last year constructed about 14 or 15 of these cribs and we put them in the lake and they said they were going to be challenged to make 40 the next time around and we're making them now and we're going to store them here till springtime and then they'll come down to the lake with boats and we'll load all the fish cribs and we'll go and set them in certain locations in the lake. This is about this will be the third project that we've been involved with the village in cooperation with school district 230. We did a lake survey with the state of Illinois and the fishing teams during the summer at Lake Sedgwick and that turned out to be a, a real uh, educational event for everybody involved in that. They got to see how a body of water is uh, surveyed by the state of Illinois. They do a shocking They'd measure the fish and everything like that, and and that was pretty good. So this would be the third event, and then when we put them in the lake in the springtime, we're going to have that'll be our fourth event in one year's time with school district 230. So it's turning out to be a very good project with the village and school district 230. Andrew Sandberg and Stag all have fishing teams, and that's who is involved in doing this right now. Hi, my name is Coach John Barge and I'm the head Andrew Bass Fishing Coach and I'm with... I'm Jim Corcoran from Carl Sandberg. I'm the head bass fishing coach there. And what we're working on here today has become a long-term project regarding our district bass fishing programs and Lake Sedgwick, which is our community lake in the neighborhood. And we started two years ago building fish cribs as a community service project to help our kids better understand what it means and the amount of work it takes to maintain our natural resources, specifically a local lake. And we wanted to teach our kids how to build up the fish habitat, the structure, and overall ecosystem of the lake. Uh, like I said, it started two years ago. Uh, we built uh, 15 fish cribs. Uh, we put them in the lake last spring. And uh, now we're here with our kids building 40 more fish cribs that we intend to put in the lake this spring. And again, the ultimate purpose is, is to teach our kids not just how to catch fish, but how to appreciate the hard work that goes into maintaining our natural resources and local resources here in Orland and Tinley Park. I'm going to hand the microphone over to Coach Corcoran, who's going to talk to you guys a little bit more about the big picture of our project and our school clubs as well. Thank you, John. The long-term efforts uh, that our students are going to perform here are going to enhance the fishery. Um, the the major idea is that little fish will attract, or the uh, fish cribs will attract little fish, and then the bigger fish, the game fish that we're pursuing, will then come to the cribs to feed on the little fish. Um, long-term, the fish cribs are going to enhance um, the spawning habitat for fish, uh, feeding habitat. Uh, but not only fish, but all wildlife will be better off because of the cribs, um, because the habitat will become much greater, much better for, for all living things that are, are in the lake. Um, ultimately, what we plan to do, besides adding fish cribs and adding structure, is uh, we, we did perform a fish survey back in the, uh, in the fall. We did a fish survey to just get an idea of what the populations of fishes were in the lake. Um, we were amazed at what the lake actually holds. Right now, we were, we were seeing really big bass, really big game fish, and the potential with these cribs um, to have even better populations of fish. Um, ultimately, long term, we're thinking about some dredging projects where we'll deepen the lake. Um, once we do that, we could add more habitat uh, in the form of cribs or in the form of uh, maybe enhanced weed beds or whatever. Um, eventually, uh, stocking program will take place. We're thinking about stocking uh, maybe this spring even and there's pot uh, potential grants that we're going to try to get um, to purchase more fish. So this is not just adding some cribs and waiting to see what happens. We're going to continue to monitor the lake. We're going to continue to do some fish surveys. 
We're going to continue to do habitat restoration and look long term, maybe five years, maybe ten years down the road. So this is something that the kids that are in the club now can uh, continue to work with and then kids in the future. Um, ultimately, the, the end all be all is that it will help the fishery for the community, anybody that uses the, the fishery um, besides our kids. It's just a, a wonderful project for kids to be, to be a part of. I could say something else. Can you edit it? I'd like to. I'd like to just add that you know both our programs have developed this project that put our kids in a hands-on situation so much so that it's actually inspired several of our students, a couple at Sandberg, uh, to actually go into this field, uh, working with the state. Department of Natural Resources and other areas of conservation and the protection of our natural resources. So it's more than just a school project or even a community service project, but it's a hands-on project that has actually inspired a few of our students to look for careers in this line of work in the future. Um, and one other long-term project is we're always trying to link our kids with the community is we're also talking about besides dredging the lake and long-term is a possible a uh, community project that involves local veterans uh, uh, and our children working uh, in a fishing tournament of some kind that involves our boats, our kids, and local veterans between Tinley Park, Orland, and Palis as another way to get the community involved with our students and our, our young anglers. Hi, I'm Joe Scavarlo from the Andrew Bass Fishing Team. I'm here with Colin Cusco. Uh, he's a junior at uh, Andrew. Uh, can you explain what we're doing today? So today we're building uh, fish habitats and we take different sized PVC pipes. We uh, put them in these buckets and then we uh, we fill them with cement when we got enough to uh, make a habitat. And uh, so you see this is still setting and uh, here's where we put the rope to, tie it to, so we have to get like a smaller one and all these are varying ranges in sizes. So one's five foot, one's four foot, and this is three foot size poles. So eventually in the spring we will dump these, weather permitting. Alright, and can you explain what kind of fish will come to this habitat? First it will be all the bait fish like minnows, bluegill, and then eventually the bigger fish will come and uh eat the little fish and then they'll eventually take refuge because there's bait fish all over. Okay. Lake Sedgwick, correct? Lake Sedgwick. Hi, my name is Ryan Kozinski and I'm here today with the Carl Sandberg Bass Fishing. I am a senior at Carl Sandberg High School and I'm going to turn it over to Ethan. Hi, I'm Ethan Goldstein. I go to Carl Sandberg High School and uh, I've been on the bass fishing team for four years. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about a little bit what we're doing, making fish cribs for Lake Sedgwick. Um, we're going to put them in the water in the springtime and yeah, it's a cool experience for everybody. It's uh, cool when we get older that we knew that we helped out the lake, create the fish population better and yeah. So now that you see that we've been making these beautiful fish cribs for a few, few years now, it's our second year doing this. Um, how do you think it's going to benefit the community? I think it's going to benefit the community a lot. A lot of kids from Sandberg, Andrew, and Stag come here, you know, to um, to work for community service and to help out the bass fishing team and help out the environment with Lake Cedric. So helping out the environment and the water is really good for our team and for the community. Very good. Uh, we saw that we did a fish scan with DNR about a few months ago before the ice came. How do you think uh, that went? It went really well. Um, it was good. We got to see the population of what the fish were in there, different types of species, how big they were, and it was cool to see how, you know, the process of how the fish get older and to see if the lake will, you know, still produce fish and still have the fish reproduce. Yeah, I mean, we did see a lot of good fish come up in the time. So um, now that we are dropping these cribs in here, do you think they're going to help the fish produce? I really do think that it will help the fish reduce, especially in the winter time. Fish tend to go deeper in the water and get in as much structure and cover as possible, so that will help out the ecosystem and the bigger fish will eat them and it will just keep on, you know, a cycle. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. And now that we got our uh, ice fishing tournament coming up here in a few weeks, uh, that would be pretty cool to know that where the fish cribs are, we're going to definitely go out there and hit those spots with the fish cribs. Yep. Should be a fun experience. Hopefully, um, catch some big fish off these uh, fish cribs, and yeah, hopefully the lake will reproduce so there'll be better fish for the community in the future. 
Yeah, I mean, it's all about, we're all planning for the future. That's what we're doing here. And it's good for the community, too.